Welcome to Mythical Wonders. Unveil the enchanting realm of Greek mythology as we embark on a captivating journey through the mysterious world of mythical creatures. From the majestic griffin to the cunning sphinx, join us in exploring the fascinating tales and incredible feats of these legendary beings. Get ready to be spellbound by the magic, courage and wonder that Greek mythology has to offer. Don't miss out on the adventure. Hit that subscribe button and let the myths unfold. 1. Chimera Chimera, one of the most iconic mythical creatures in Greek mythology, is the Chimera. Described as a monstrous hybrid creature, the Chimera had the body of a lion, the head of a goat protruding from its back, and a tail that ended in a serpent's head. This fearsome creature was said to breathe fire and terrorize the region of Lycia in Asia Minor. The Chimera's origin is often associated with the parentage of Typhon and Echidna, both monstrous beings themselves. According to some versions of the myth, the Chimera was a sibling to other famous monsters such as Cerberus, the three-headed hound guarding the underworld, and the Hydra, a multi-headed serpent. The hero Bellerophon, riding the winged horse Pegasus, was tasked with defeating the Chimera. With the help of Athena and the wise seer Iobates, Bellerophon managed to slay the creature by using a lead-tipped spear, which he thrust down the Chimera's throat, choking the fire-breathing monster. The Chimera symbolizes chaos and the struggle between civilization and the untamed forces of nature. Its composite nature reflects the unpredictable and destructive aspects of the world, elements that the ancient Greeks sought to understand and control. 2. Centaurs Centaurs were mythical creatures with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse. These beings were known for their dual nature, embodying both civilized and untamed aspects. Often depicted as rowdy and unruly, Centaurs were associated with revelry and violence. One of the most famous centaurs was Chiron, known for his wisdom, healing abilities, and gentleness. Unlike his more savage counterparts, Chiron was a mentor to many heroes, including Achilles and Asclepius. He was skilled in medicine, archery, and music, setting him apart from the stereotypical centaur. The centaur's origin is linked to the union of Ixion, a mortal king, and Nephili, a cloud created by Zeus to deceive Ixion. The resulting offspring, Centaurus, was the first centaur. Centaurs were often associated with the wild and untamed aspects of nature, representing the struggle between civilization and the primal instincts within humanity. In Greek mythology, Centaurs were frequently involved in conflicts with humans, and their unruly behavior led to their eventual downfall. The most famous of these conflicts occurred during the wedding of Pyrithaus and Hippodamia, where the centaurs, fueled by wine and lust, attacked the human guests. The Lapiths, a tribe of Thessaly, successfully repelled the centaur attack, highlighting the ongoing theme of the struggle between order and chaos. 3. Griffin The griffin, a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of an eagle, is a symbol of strength, courage, and the protective aspect of divine forces. It was believed to guard treasures and sacred places, and its association with both the lion and the eagle emphasized its majestic and noble qualities. The origins of the griffin can be traced to various cultures, including Greek mythology. Some myths suggest that the griffin was born from the union of the earth and the sun, symbolizing the harmony between earthly and celestial forces. Other accounts describe the griffin as the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, making it a sibling to other monstrous creatures like the Chimera. In some stories, the griffin played a role in the adventures of heroes such as Jason and the Argonauts. During their quest for the Golden Fleece, the Argonauts encountered the griffin while passing through the land of the Hyperboreans. The creature, revered by the Hyperboreans, was said to guard the gold deposits in the region. The griffin's symbolism extended beyond Greek mythology, 
and became a recurring motif in various cultures, including Persian, Egyptian, and medieval European traditions. In these diverse contexts, the creature retained its association with divine protection, valor, and the fusion of different elements. 4. Harpies Harpies were mythical creatures with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird, often depicted with wings and talons. These creatures were associated with the wind, storms, and swift punishment. Harpies were considered agents of divine retribution, meeting out punishment to those who had committed crimes or offenses. The most famous group of harpies in Greek mythology was led by Kelaeno, sometimes identified as one of the daughters of Thaumas and Electra. These harpies were sent by the gods to torment King Phineas of Thrace. Whenever Phineas tried to eat, the harpies would swoop down and snatch the food from his hands, leaving him in a perpetual state of hunger. The Argonauts, on their quest for the Golden Fleece, encountered the harpies during their journey. The seer Phineas, grateful for the Argonauts' assistance, provided them with valuable information about their voyage in exchange for protection from the harpies. The winged sons of Boreas, the north wind, intervened, driving the harpies away and ending their torment of Phineas. The harpies symbolized the relentless force of divine punishment, particularly for those who had committed acts of betrayal or injustice. Their bird-like features emphasized their connection to the skies and the swift, unavoidable nature of divine retribution. Minotaur The Minotaur is one of the most famous and iconic creatures in Greek mythology. This fearsome creature, with the body of a man and the head of a bull, was imprisoned in the labyrinth on the island of Crete. The Minotaur's origins are linked to the complex family dynamics of King Minos of Crete. King Minos offended the god Poseidon, who in turn cursed Minos's wife Pacifier to fall in love with a bull. Pacifier sought the help of the craftsman Daedalus, who constructed a wooden cow to deceive the bull. The result of this union was the Minotaur, Minos, embarrassed by the existence of the Minotaur, commissioned Daedalus to build the labyrinth, an intricate maze designed to confine the creature. Every year, Minos demanded a tribute of seven young men and seven maidens from Athens, whom he then sent into the labyrinth as food for the Minotaur. The hero Theseus, son of the king of Athens, volunteered to be one of the sacrificial tributes. With the help of Ariadne, Minos's daughter, who provided him with a ball of thread, Theseus navigated the labyrinth and slew the Minotaur. This event marked the end of the annual tribute to Crete and showcased the triumph of heroism over monstrous adversity. The Minotaur's symbolism encompasses themes of bestiality, confinement, and the consequences of divine curses. The labyrinth, as a metaphor for complexity and confusion, serves as a backdrop for the struggle between the heroic and the monstrous aspects of the Minotaur's nature. 6. Gorgons The Gorgons were a trio of monstrous sisters with snakes for hair and the power to turn anyone who gazed upon them into stone. The three Gorgons were named Steno, Uriale, and the most famous of them, Medusa. Of the three, only Medusa was mortal. The origin of the Gorgons is linked to the sea god Forces and his sister wife Seto, both of whom were associated with sea monsters and creatures. The Gorgons' terrifying appearance and deadly gaze made them formidable foes, and their portrayal as monstrous beings reflected the ancient Greeks' fears and anxieties. Medusa, in particular, became a central figure in Greek mythology. Once a beautiful priestess in Athena's temple, Medusa was cursed by Athena after she was violated by the god Poseidon in the temple. The curse transformed her into a gorgon and her gaze became lethal. Perseus, the hero, ultimately slew Medusa as part of his quest, using a mirrored shield to avoid looking directly at her. The gorgon's severed heads had potent symbolism in Greek myth. Perseus used Medusa's head as a weapon, 
turning adversaries into stone statues. The Gorgon's head also appeared on the Aegis, a protective shield associated with Zeus and Athena. The image of the Gorgon served as a potent, apotropaic symbol, warding off evil and protecting the bearer. 7. Sirens Sirens were mythical creatures with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a fish. Renowned for their enchanting voices and seductive songs, sirens lured sailors to their doom with the promise of irresistible melodies. These beings were often associated with dangerous waters and rocky cliffs, where sailors would become entranced by the sirens' singing. The most famous encounter with the sirens is recounted in Homer's Odyssey. Odysseus, on his journey home from the Trojan War, faces the temptation of the sirens. Aware of the danger, Odysseus orders his men to plug their ears with beeswax, while he himself, curious to hear the enchanting songs, has himself tied to the mast of his ship. This strategy allows Odysseus to experience the siren's song without succumbing to its deadly allure. The siren's origin is often traced back to the Muses or the daughters of the river god Achilles. Their association with music and the power of their voices to captivate and enthrall reflects the ancient Greeks' understanding of the dual nature of art and its potential to inspire or lead astray. The sirens symbolize the allure of the unknown and the dangers of succumbing to temptation. Their role in mythology serves as a cautionary tale about the destructive power of unchecked desires and the importance of resisting seductive influences. 8. Cyclopes The Cyclopes were a race of one-ayed giants in Greek mythology known for their immense strength and skill in forging weapons. These beings played significant roles in various myths, often as craftsmen or as antagonists faced by heroes on their quests. The most famous group of Cyclopes were the sons of Uranus, Sky, and Gaia, Earth. These Cyclopes, Brontes, Steropes, and Argus, were skilled blacksmiths who forged Zeus's thunderbolts, Poseidon's trident, and Hades's helmet of invisibility. Their single eye, located in the center of their foreheads, contributed to their distinctive appearance. The Cyclopes also appear in the myth of Odysseus, where the hero encounters Polyphemus, a Cyclops, and son of Poseidon. After blinding Polyphemus, Odysseus and his men narrowly escape the Cyclops' wrath. Polyphemus, in his rage, curses Odysseus, leading to further challenges in the hero's journey. The Cyclopes symbolize both the creative and destructive aspects of craftsmanship. Their association with forging powerful weapons underscores the importance of balance in the use of technology and the potential consequences of unbridled power. 9. Nemean Lion The Nemean Lion was a legendary creature with an impervious golden fur and a hide that could not be pierced by mortal weapons. This lion terrorized the region of Nemea, and its hide was said to be impenetrable, rendering it invulnerable to conventional weapons. As one of his twelve labors, the hero Heracles, Hercules, was tasked with slaying the Nemean Lion, Heracles strangled the lion with his bare hands as the creature's hide was impervious to weapons. Heracles then used the lion's own claws to skin it, creating a durable and impenetrable cloak that became one of his iconic attributes. The Nemean lion's defeat by Heracles symbolizes the hero's strength, resourcefulness and ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. The lion's impenetrable hide serves as a testament to the resilience required to face adversity and emerge victorious. 10. Cerberus Cerberus, also known as the Hound of Hades, was a multi-headed dog guarding the entrance to the underworld. Described as a monstrous creature with three heads, a serpent for a tail, and a mane of snakes, Cerberus prevented the living from entering the realm of the dead, and kept the dead from escaping. Cerberus played a crucial role in the Twelve Labors of Heracles, where one of the tasks assigned to the hero was to capture the formidable beast. 
With the aid of the goddess Persephone, Heracles successfully subdued Cerberus and brought him to the surface. This accomplishment demonstrated Heracles' unparalleled strength and courage. The origin of Cerberus is often linked to Typhon and Echidna, the same monstrous parents associated with other legendary creatures like the Chimera and the Hydra. Cerberus embodies the fearsome and uncontrollable aspects of the underworld, serving as both a guardian and a symbol of the inevitability of death. 11. Hydra The Hydra was a serpent-like creature with multiple heads, typically depicted with nine, though some variations mention more. According to mythology, the Hydra dwelled in the swamps of Lerna and terrorized the surrounding region. One of its most notable features was its ability to grow two heads for everyone that was severed. In the second of his twelve labors, Heracles was tasked with defeating the Hydra. With the help of his nephew Iolaus, who cauterized the Hydra's necks to prevent them from regenerating, Heracles managed to slay the monstrous creature. The Hydra's blood was said to be deadly poison, and Heracles used it to coat his arrows, adding another layer of danger to his formidable arsenal. The Hydra symbolizes the challenges that multiply and become more complex as they are confronted. Its ability to regrow heads represents the persistence of obstacles and the need for creative solutions in the face of adversity. 12. Satyrs Satyrs were mythical creatures with the upper body of a man and the lower body of a goat. Known for their love of wine, music and revelry, Satyrs were often portrayed as mischievous and lustful beings. They were companions of the god Dionysus, participating in his wild and ecstatic celebrations. In addition to their association with Dionysus, Satyrs were also connected to the god Pan, the god of nature and the wild. Pan, often depicted with the legs and horns of a goat, embodied the untamed aspects of the natural world. Satyrs were sometimes portrayed in a more sinister light, especially in the retinue of the god Dionysus. In Euripides' play The Bacchae, King Pentheus is torn apart by a group of frenzied maenads who are accompanied by satyrs. This darker aspect of satyrs emphasizes the dual nature of their character, playful and carefree, yet capable of unleashing chaos and violence. 13. Sphinx the Sphinx was a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human, often with the wings of a bird. The most famous Sphinx, associated with the city of Thebes, posed a riddle to travelers. The riddle, what has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening, was presented to Oedipus. Oedipus correctly answered, man, as humans crawl as infants, walk upright in their prime, and use a cane in old age. Those who failed to answer the Sphinx's riddle were strangled or devoured. Oedipus's success in solving the riddle led to the Sphinx's demise, illustrating the theme of intelligence triumphing over brute force. 14. Lamia The Lamia was a female demon in Greek mythology, often associated with vampiric and child-devouring tendencies. The Lamia was originally a beautiful queen of Libya who caught the eye of Zeus. However, when Hera discovered Zeus's infidelity, she cursed Lamia, transforming her into a creature that hunted and devoured children out of jealousy. Lamia's story reflects themes of jealousy, revenge, and the consequences of crossing the gods. In some versions of the myth, Lamia is described as a serpent-like creature emphasizing the monstrous nature of her transformation. 15. Caledonian Boar The Caledonian Boar was a monstrous creature sent by Artemis to ravage the region of Caledon as punishment for the king's neglect of her offerings. This formidable boar had tusks that could cut through armor and its rampage posed a significant threat to the people of Caledon. To hunt the Caledonian Boar, Heroes and hunters from various regions, including Atalanta, Meliaga, and Castor and Pollux, were assembled. The hunt became a legendary event, showcasing the prowess of these heroes. Meliga ultimately slew the boar, 
but the story ended tragically as a result of family strife and divine interventions. 16. Pan Pan was a rustic god of the wild, often depicted with the legs and horns of a goat. His appearance contributed to the association of satyrs with goat-like features. Pan was a mischievous and playful deity, known for his love of music and his connection to nature. Pan's name is the root of the word panic, as his sudden appearances in the wild were believed to cause fright. Despite his intimidating reputation, Pan was not inherently malevolent and was considered a benevolent deity, particularly in his role as a companion to nymphs and a protector of shepherds. 17. Echidna Echidna, often referred to as the mother of all monsters, was a hybrid creature with the upper body of a beautiful woman and the lower body of a serpent. Echidna was the mate of Typhon, a monstrous giant, and together they produced a brood of legendary monsters. Echidna's offspring included the Chimera, the Hydra, the Nemean Lion, and the Sphinx, among others. As the mother of such formidable creatures, Echidna played a pivotal role in populating the Greek mythological landscape with a variety of monstrous beings. 18. Geryon Geryon was a three-bodied, four-winged giant who lived on the island of Erythea, guarding a herd of red cattle. In some versions of the myth, Geryon had three heads as well. Heracles's tenth labor involved capturing these cattle as one of his assigned tasks. During his quest, Heracles faced numerous challenges, including crossing the Libyan desert and defeating various monsters. Eventually, he reached Erythea, where he killed Geryon and successfully captured the red cattle. Geryon represents another formidable opponent in the hero's journey, showcasing the diversity of challenges faced by Greek mythological heroes. 19. Manticore the manticore was a mythical creature with the body of a lion, a human head with three rows of sharp teeth, and a tail ending in a cluster of venomous spines. Originating from Persian mythology, the manticore found its way into Greek and later Roman myth. While not as prevalent in Greek mythology as some other creatures, the manticore's hybrid features and deadly attributes align with the broader theme of monstrous beings challenging heroes on their quests. 20. Pegasus Pegasus was a winged horse born from the blood of the Gorgon Medusa after she was slain by Perseus. Pegasus emerged from Medusa's neck and with a stroke of its hooves, a spring called Hippocrene, the horse's fountain, burst forth on Mount Helicon. Pegasus became the loyal companion of the hero Bellerophon, aiding him in defeating the Chimera. The horse later ascended to Mount Olympus, where it served as the carrier of thunder and lightning for Zeus. 21. Typhon Typhon was a colossal and monstrous figure in Greek mythology, often described as a serpentine giant with wings. Born from Gaia and Tartarus, Typhon sought revenge against the Olympian gods for their defeat of the Titans. His appearance was so terrifying that even Zeus fled in fear. In the ensuing battle, Zeus overcame Typhon, hurling thunderbolts and trapping the monstrous being beneath Mount Etna in Sicily. Typhon's fiery breath, however, caused the volcanic eruptions associated with the mountain. Typhon symbolizes the uncontrollable and destructive forces of nature that even the mighty gods must confront. 22. Cerenean Hind The Cerenean Hind was a sacred deer with golden antlers and hooves of bronze gifted to Artemis by her father Zeus. As part of his twelve labors, Heracles was tasked with capturing the Hind alive. The challenge lay in the hind's extraordinary speed and agility. Heracles pursued the Serenian hind for an entire year, eventually capturing it without causing harm. The hind's capture demonstrated Heracles' ability to exercise restraint and skill, contrasting with the more overt displays of strength in his other labors. 23. Ladon Ladon was a serpent-like dragon, or Dracon that guarded the golden apples in the Garden of the Hesperides. 
This mythical creature, often depicted with multiple heads, served as a formidable obstacle for those seeking access to the precious fruits. One of the most famous stories involving Ladon is the eleventh labor of Heracles. In this labor, Heracles was tasked with obtaining the golden apples. With the help of Atlas, who held the heavens, Heracles tricked Atlas into retrieving the apples, allowing Heracles to carry the burden temporarily. Ladon, as the guardian of the apples, symbolizes the challenges and perils encountered in the pursuit of divine treasures. 24. Stymphalian Birds The Stymphalian birds were a flock of man-eating birds with metallic beaks and feathers that could be launched as deadly projectiles. As part of his twelve labors, Heracles was tasked with clearing the Stymphalian marshes of these menacing creatures. Using a pair of bronze castanets provided by the goddess Athena, Heracles frightened the birds into flight and shot them down with his arrows. The Stymphalian birds represent the challenges involving agility and precision that heroes faced in their mythic quests. 25. Charybdis Charybdis was a sea monster and whirlpool, situated on the Strait of Messina between Italy and Sicily. In Greek mythology, Charybdis was considered a daughter of Poseidon and Gaia. The monster posed a deadly threat to sailors, as her inhaling created powerful whirlpools capable of engulfing entire ships. Charybdis, along with the sea monster Scylla, was encountered by Odysseus during his epic journey in Homer's Odyssey. The hero navigated the perilous waters between the two monsters, illustrating the challenges faced by mortals in the unpredictable realms of the sea. 26. Orthrus Orthrus was a two-headed dog with a serpent's tail owned by the giant Geryon. As part of his tenth labor, Heracles was tasked with capturing Geryon's cattle, and Orthrus became an unexpected opponent. Heracles successfully slew Orthrus during his quest. Orthrus, with his multiple heads and serpent-like tail, is another example of the fantastical creatures that populated the heroic narratives of Greek mythology. 27. Hippogriff While the hippogriff is more commonly associated with later medieval European folklore, it occasionally appears in Greek-inspired fantasy. The hippogriff is a mythical creature with the front half of an eagle and the hind half of a horse. It embodies a magical fusion of two powerful and noble creatures. In the context of Greek mythology, the hippogriff might be imagined as a creature born from the union of Pegasus, the winged horse, and a majestic eagle, blending elements of both air and land. 28. Naiads Naiads were nymphs associated with bodies of freshwater, including rivers, streams, and lakes. These beautiful female spirits were often depicted as companions of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, or as attendants to other water-related deities. Naiads were believed to inhabit specific bodies of water and were considered protectors of their domains. They played roles in various myths, sometimes as objects of desire for gods or mortals, or as figures who could impart wisdom and guidance. 29. Dryads Dryads were tree nymphs, female spirits inhabiting trees and forests. Each dryad was believed to be tied to a specific tree, and harming the tree was thought to harm the dryad as well. These nature spirits were associated with the divine, embodying the essence of the natural world. Dryads were featured in numerous myths, often as objects of desire for gods or mortals. Their existence underscored the interconnections of the divine, the natural world, and the realm of mortals. The mythical creatures of Greek mythology offer a captivating glimpse into the rich tapestry of ancient Greek storytelling. These creatures, born from the imaginations of the ancient Greeks, embody a complex interplay of cultural, psychological, and symbolic elements. From the majestic griffin to the terrifying hydra, each creature carries a unique narrative that reflects the fears, aspirations, and moral lessons of its time. As we explore these mythical beings, we find a recurring theme of duality, 
of civilization and wildness, order and chaos, beauty and monstrosity. The ancient Greeks used these fantastical creatures to explore the mysteries of the natural world, human nature and the divine forces that shaped their lives. In addition to their cultural significance, many of these mythical creatures continue to influence literature, art and popular culture today. The enduring appeal of Greek mythology lies in its ability to transcend time and resonate with universal themes that are as relevant now as they were thousands of years ago.